Hey guys, welcome to the video. This is my annual best of beauty, skincare, and hair care video. What is up you guys? Welcome to the video. So this is my annual best of beauty, but this year I decided to include skincare and hair care in this video as well instead of doing three separate videos. This is one of my favorite videos to do every single year. I know my channel is primarily about EDM and music festivals, but I'm a huge makeup lover. It's been a part of my channel since the beginning, and I love to share with you guys the products that I've been absolutely obsessed with this entire year. Now this year was weird, I think it's safe to say, because we didn't really have anywhere to go, so I wasn't buying as much makeup as I have been in the past. However, I do have some new products and some favorites that you guys might recognize from some of my past videos, but with all that being said, I'm just going to take you through everything. I'm going to start with makeup, and then I will get into skincare, and then I will end with hair care. All the products that I mentioned today will be listed down below in the description box, and I am wearing a bunch of them on my face today, so you guys will see them in action as well. Please comment below with your recommendations. What have you guys been loving this year as far as makeup, skincare, and hair care? I am always looking for new stuff to play around with. And lastly, if you guys are new here, I would absolutely love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. All right, enough said. We have a lot to get into. I'm going to try and breeze through these products. So first up is primers. Guys, I don't have any new primers. I've been loving my favorites for years. So first up is the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. I believe they changed the packaging on this. So I will find you guys the newest version. And then the Becca First Light Priming Filter. This is more high-end. This is like $4 more high-end. I started using this again and it's beautiful. It makes your makeup last forever. My skin always looks flawless. Like this is potential wedding day makeup. Honestly, today's look in general might be a contender for wedding day makeup, but that's, that's a topic for another day. So I absolutely love those two. In the summertime, my go-to is the Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40 from Super Goop. This is an amazing primer and you got to get your SPF in every single day. So I absolutely love that. Okay. Foundation. I, I kept it short guys. It's my two favorites. I've used these in so many videos on my channel. The L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear is my number one. Uh, I have two colors, my winter, my summer. I just ran out of my summer color, but this, the other one was rose vanilla and this one is in linen. And then the wet and wild photo focus foundation, the dewy version. This was new to me this year and I am up obsessed with it. I have two different colors in this as well and it's the most beautiful coverage. It's what I'm wearing today. It looks so fresh. It's dewy so if you're on the drier side to normal this would be beautiful on you. And again both drugstore amazing. Okay next up would be my cream contour. So I fell in love with two products this year. One I ran out of. I don't have it with me anymore but it's the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzing Essence which sounds so fancy. It's a drugstore bronzer. Unfortunately, it's only available in one color, which they need to they need to work on that, but the formula is beautiful. It's so easy to blend. And then Milk Makeup. This is in the shade Baked. Obsessed with it. I'm wearing it today. It is so easy to blend, so easy to use cuz it's it's just in like a stick format and the color is perfection. So I have been using those two nonstop. Okay, next up is going to be concealer. This is nothing new. Nothing will ever top this for me yet again. The Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is like the more hydrating version of Tarte Shape Tape. It's beautiful. It's huge. You get so much product. It's hydrating. It's full, full coverage. Obsessed with it. I'm in the shade Nude. And then my second favorite, you guys, a dupe, I would say, is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is perfection. This is what I'm wearing today. This is so high coverage. It's $6. It comes in like a million shades and it's beautiful. They have an, uh, a regular version and then they came out with hydrating. I prefer hydrating because I'm on the drier side. Uh, I'm going to throw in some worst products in this video as well. So a product I did not like was the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. Not a fan at all. It's not full coverage at all. Don't like this at all. Like this, when you pull it out and apply it, I feel like almost no product comes out of this tube. So that was, that was a worse product for me. Okay, you guys, blushes. Let me just tell you, out of everything I'm going to show you today, my favorite, favorite product of the year are cream blushes. I'm completely obsessed. I have been using so much more cream products. I've been like moving away from powder. It just makes your 
skin feel very heavy and again we weren't going anywhere this year so i wanted my skin to look dewy fresh youthful so anyway the rare beauty cream blushes are literally everything and these just came out this fall um joy is my favorite color it's this really bright coral when you blend it out in your skin it looks beautiful and then this one is in the shade bliss this is more neutral this is a dewy finish this is a more matte natural finish so they have different types of finishes absolutely stunning and then this is extremely recent like i've only used this three times i'm obsessed i knew these existed but anyway these are the flower beauty color bomb cream blushes i'm wearing it today this shade i think it's in cinnamon yeah the most beautiful thing i've ever seen it is so natural and gorgeous easy to blend out you guys like you just need the tiniest amount and it makes your skin look flawless and again it's not heavy it's not cakey it all just blends so well so well love that as far as a powder blush though the elf blush and i think oh, i forget what shade this is i'll link it down below this was a favorite blush of the year huge pan affordable i mean elf just came through this year so highly recommend these blushes they last a very long time which is amazing okay bronzers are next i don't have anything new in the bronzer department i really again didn't try that much because i used cream contouring so the butter bronzer again i use deep bronze is still my favorite i just think it's absolutely stunning and i love it i think that was the only bronzer um i'm going to show you guys a palette in a second but i'll skip to powders next again nothing new guys please recommend setting powders to me because i have a problem straying away from what i love so my matte powder is the rimmel stay matte love this this is a pressed powder drugstore and the maybelline fit me loose um, translucent i actually use fair light and light typically are the best high-end hands down fenty beauty i still have this mini version which is more affordable than the full size i'm in the shade butter this is perfection this is way more brightening it definitely has a little bit more pigment than the other two but it lasts forever and it's beautiful okay so as far as like palettes that contain a little bit of everything this came in a boxy charm and i love it so much this is my first item from pretty vulgar this is the nesting bitch face palette you guys how stunning is that so i actually really do love the two bronzers in here they're really pretty this blush at the top which is called hush blush is stunning i love it and then this highlighter i use today i have been like drowning myself in and it's called glimmer of bs this whole palette is so funny and it comes with a mirror so honestly 10 out of 10 recommend this whole palette i've been using this to beat the face it's been amazing okay uh another highlighter i've been into i might have mentioned this last year i can't remember it's a cream highlighter this is color pop uh super shock cheek in the shade wisp I hit pan on it i use it all the time it's actually what's on my nose and then in my inner corners it's just beautiful it's so easy to work with i throw this on my face on like everyday makeup when i just put on mascara and highlighter oh, oh, oh i forgot one palette i had to mention i don't know when i bought this i feel like it was winter last year but the butter collection this was a collaboration with an influencer wiley huang i believe this palette is beautiful i have to be careful because this highlighter got depotted and it's like falling out but these blushes chef's kiss the bronzers are really nice very very pigmented butter bronzers blushes and highlighters are all extremely pigmented they're a little bit powdery they have a little fallout but the colors of these two are like heavenly so if you can buy them on their own apricot and wildflower i would really really recommend um physicians formulas butter blushes okay i think that's all of face i gotta like move through this okay um setting sprays again still my favorite the wet and wild photo focus i haven't gone crazy with sprays this year um the morphe continuous setting mist i went through like probably three bottles i currently don't have one i need to replenish it absolute favorite those two i'd say my least favorite is the morphe luminous setting spray i tried this this is one of those products that i'm like does it do anything yeah, so I'm not sure about it. So I pretty much use this to wet my um, beauty sponge and then I wet my brushes with it before I go in and with eyeshadow. So it, I do get use out of it. I just don't use it really to set my face that much. Okay, let's talk about eyeshadow palettes. You knew I couldn't just pick one, guys. You knew I couldn't just pick one. Let's just, let's just go through this. I don't have a favorite. The Tati Beauty palette, which I think might still be sold out. I'm really sorry. I've used this a million times. Anytime I have a super, super glittery eyeshadow look, it's one of these pressed glitters. Um, I hit pan on this. It's my neutrals every day that I wear. I can go smoky with it. 
It's absolutely beautiful. I 10 out of 10 recommend that. I'd say the one that I've been getting the most use out of, which was completely new to me this year, was the Huda Beauty Nude Medium Palette. This is a recommendation from Tara O'Neill. Love it, love it. I've hit pan on a few colors, uh, so I gotta be careful here, but that is what she looks like. It's just, it's beautiful. It's all mauve shades, it's warm. It's so sparkly, like, and it's the perfect size. I love how compact this is. It has a mirror. The colors are pigmented. The shimmers are beautiful, and I love it. So I'm going to be buying more of her nine pan eyeshadows. Okay, really quickly, the other palettes I liked, the Pure Festival palette. This came in BoxyCharm as well. I hadn't really ever experimented with Pure, but I got a lot of use out of this palette, especially, like, these warm corally tones. Some of the shimmers are really pretty that I've played around with and it has a mirror. That was really fun this year. And then these are the two newest entries I have to just quickly mention because the Raw Beauty Christy and ColourPop collaboration, I've only used it like four times, but the pigmentation is there. The color story is beautiful. It has the greens in here, which I love greens on brown eyes. Beautiful, I have been using these colors so much. That gold, that greenish gold. This is gonna be a favorite going into next year. And then the palette I'm wearing today is my first Natasha Denona palette. I've never bought her stuff because it's expensive. It's expensive, bitch. But this was in a BoxyCharm, which again, BoxyCharm is a favorite of this whole year. It's beautiful. I mean, this is me in a color story. It's warm. I use every single color every time I do the look. It's just beautiful, 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 beautiful. And of course, it's worth the money because the pigmentation is there. It's extremely easy to blend. You guys will see in this video. So those are the eyeshadow palettes I recommend. Also, it just started snowing outside. So I have like the most lovely, like cozy view right now. It's amazing. Okay, anyway, so my favorite eyeliner that I've used to death, it's like a stub. This is from Estee Lauder and this is in the shade Coffee. I pretty much only wear dark brown liner and then like a nude liner. I don't really wear black a lot. This has been a favorite. I recently got a four pack of ColourPop liners. These are their gel cream liners. Really, really pretty. I'm wearing um, this shade today, which is Gobi? Question <laughs> mark. Um, they're really, really pigmented and really affordable, so I like that. And then mascaras, honestly guys, I probably went through some earlier in the year and I haven't restocked them, so I can't remember what I was loving in the beginning of the year, but um, the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, I have fallen in love with again. It just is the most beautiful mascara. It is so, so, so stunning. And then Urban Decay's Lash Freak. I have been using this pretty much like very, very frequently the last six months. It's like jet black. It does a really good job of lengthening your lashes. It's pretty, it's a little on the clumpier side, I will say, but um, it does a really good job. So I've been liking that. For brows, okay, brows. My favorite is the Hourglass Pencil, and this is in the Arc Brow, the Micro Sculpting Pencil. I'm in Warm Brunette. Um, I think this might've been a gift. It's just the finest, tiniest little pencil the brush is amazing it just like this creates the perfect brush strokes and then if you guys want to go more affordable i still love the color pop boss brow pencil really really nice expensive affordable both great same thing for brow mascara nothing new here these have been favorites for years um i have been obsessed with since last year the nyx brow mascara and this is in the shade espresso so this is tinted Love it, it's amazing. And then I got back into the Benefit Gimme Brow. I think, I can't remember if I bought this or this came in a boxy charm, but I'm in the shade five. It's a little bit darker, both amazing. This has a, a tinier brush, which I really, really like, but if you wanna go more affordable, then go for NYX. Okay, let's do lashes. So today I'm wearing the Samantha Lashes from Huda Beauty. These used to be a favorite of mine years ago. And then I rebought them and refell in love with them. I mean, they're so wispy and beautiful. They're a little bit pricier, but it's one of my favorite styles. I don't have them today, but my favorite lashes of the year were from House of Lashes in the style Iconic. I'm literally gonna go and buy like four pairs of it. It's probably the lash I'm gonna wear on my wedding day. Um, a second favorite is Spellbound. I just love House of Lashes in general. They're usually like 12 to $14 per lash, so it's like a fair price point. And then of course, I still wear these every day, you guys. These are the Kiss number 11s. These are my everyday lash, super pretty and wispy, not too dramatic, not too overdone. Okay, you guys, we're on lips. Lips are probably the area I went 
the craziest with this year. I became obsessed with lip liners. Obsessed. I probably bought the most lip liners this year than I've ever bought in my life. So let's do this. Um, I recommend a couple different companies. LA Girls pencils were a favorite the first half of the year. Very affordable. I have them. Everything you see today is going to be neutrals. I'm a neutral ass bitch. I'm sorry, but uh, my favorite colors were Bare and Flesh. I use those all the time. This whole collection, I hope it's still available because I probably bought it like a year ago, but this was a Lorac Times Rachel Zoe collab that came with a lip liner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. I'm obsessed with all three products, but this lip pencil I still have. I It might be one of my favorites in the entire collection, and it's in the shade Ginger Blonde all the time. Use it. Love it. Obsessed. Okay. The NYX lip liners. Guys, this was a TikTok suggestion. I follow a couple people in the makeup industry who like sing the praises of the NYX lip liners. There's a billion colors. They're so affordable. They're so creamy. So I finally took the plunge and bought two nudes, nude truffle and nutmeg. And oh my God, they're perfection. They are perfection. And I didn't just buy these two. I think I bought five in one Ulta purchase, and they are all just slightly different, okay? I'll swatch them. This is Nude Truffle, and this is Nutmeg. And honestly, the thing about Ulta is they look really, really dark on the pencil, and then when you put them on, they are like three shades lighter than what you think, so just be forewarned. That is Nude Truffle, that is Nutmeg. Way more cool tone, way more warm tone, both beautiful. And in comparison, I'll swatch Ginger Blonde. So you guys can see Ginger Blonde is way more like on the pinkish tone down here. That's Ginger Blonde and I love it so, so much. Okay, and then I have to talk about some of my recent favorites. So Jamie Genevieve, who's one of my absolute favorite YouTubers in the entire world, came out with a line called V. It's her brand new makeup collection and of course she came out with a line. She did an eyeshadow palette, lip liners, lipsticks, and highlighter. And her thing is kind of what I'm doing today, dark lip liner with a stunning nude lip. I bought her stuff the day it opened. So I got the liner Bark, which I'm wearing today. It's the most stunning like brown. It's just a beautiful cool tone brown. This lip gives me like 90 vi 90s vibes. Her packaging is stunning as well. So I got two lipsticks as well. Like look at this, the gold and the black. They're like magnetic. So it's so worth the money. They have a little V on the top. I bought the shade Treasure and Coming In Hot. Guys, Treasure is what I'm wearing today. This is a more like peachy nude, I guess I would say. Delicious, absolutely delicious. And then Come In and Hot is a little bit darker, but oh my God, they're so creamy. That's Come In and Hot, that's Treasure. That's all I have to say about that. Okay, and then affordable lipsticks you guys need to get on right now are the e.l.f. Seriously Satin lipsticks, like packaging, V cheap looking, it's fine. Um, Nectar, you guys have probably seen me wear in like a billion videos this year. It's like the most beautiful corally pink. Actually, it's probably more corally, very, very warm. And then I bought this one recently, kind of like as a dupe, I feel like for one of um, KKW Beauty's lipsticks. This is in the shade Cream. This is like very nude and I love it. That is Nectar, I wear that all the time, way more color and that is cream so that's like she's fair she's fair but she's beautiful that is pretty much everything you guys the last product i want to recommend again tiktok made me do it another recent purchase are the nyx butter glosses i feel like guys if you want to try something affordable just go for nyx lip liners lipsticks lip glosses whatever try nyx so these are in the shade madeline and fortune cookie again way way lighter when you actually put them on than in the packaging. So this is a more like bronzy shade and this is a lighter color. I'm gonna put this on right now because my lips are feeling a little bit matte. Like how gorgeous is this whole combination? First of all, they smell heavenly. They smell so good, they're so creamy. They're not overly pigmented, but they have enough pigmentation. So for like this kind of look, it's amazing. And these are my two favorite colors. Okay, I'm gonna try and go through this fast, but if you guys are already here, you're ready along for the ride, you know what I'm saying? Definitely drop me the lipstick emoji down below if you guys are still with me. 
Okay, skincare. Again, didn't go crazy this year. I love my same products. I like to make them work for me. Um, I probably finished a couple things that like I can't even remember, but let's start out with serums. So I use a serum in the morning and then I use a serum at night. In the morning, I always use a vitamin C serum to clear up my acne scarring because that's an issue for me. And She's back, back and better than ever. I've tried other vitamin C serums and this is like my favorite for years, the Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum. It just works. Like if you use this every day within probably a few days to maybe like a week or two, you're gonna start seeing the lightening of your scars. That's from Ulta, so I love that. I am gonna try and find one other like everyday serum just to mix it up, but I love that one. At night, I use the number seven Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Serum. This one is good for like fine lines. It's good for sensitive skin. It has a little bit more of a silicone-y feeling, but I like that. And then you guys can see I have almost finished this. This lasted a really long time. This is the Youth to the People uh, Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Oil. Gives you a gorgeous glow. Your skin's feeling plump the next day, so we love that. Eye creams. I use eye creams every single night you guys i pride myself i have really good bright under eyes and i honestly it's because i've been using eye creams for years i think so the sephora brightening eye cream is beautiful i really really love it it's a great texture and it's not too expensive and then i got this in a boxy charm and i i like it so i rotate every other day between these two this is the dr brandt 24 7 retinol eye cream with ruby crystal complex i mean i don't know i just rotate between the two of those and i really really like them okay one product that made a comeback this year this was something i was obsessed with in years past i stopped using it i introduced it to my skincare routine again and remembered why I love it. It's the Pixi Glow Tonic. This is amazing if you want to brighten your skin and exfoliate it a little bit. So this has glycolic acid. It's an exfoliating toner. So this makes your skin just look healthy and glowy. So I sometimes use it in the morning, sometimes use it at night. I put it on a little cotton pad and just scrub my face. And again, this helps with brightening my acne scarring and I love it. My face feels like very clean after using it. It kind of gives you like the tingly feeling, but I love that. Okay, let me do cleansers. So cleansers, I was using the Biore um, charcoal cleanser. Still love that, but I've been testing out some other ones, like more gentle ones. So in the morning after I go to the gym and things like that, I've been using the Neutrogena, the oil-free acne stress control. This is a power clear scrub. This is really, really gentle and it's a little bit exfoliating it has these tiny beads in it but this is like really good if you have sensitive or dry skin because it won't like aggressively exfoliate and this has i believe yeah green tea and cucumber so it smells good and it's very very gentle and then recently i've been trying out the youth to the people the kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser i really really like this this was a pricier purchase i you guys will be able to tell i like drugstore skincare but this had so many good reviews. And again, I like the Youth to the People Glow Oil. This is so gentle. If you are sensitive and you just want something to clean your face that like kind of smells like greenery and is just like very, very gentle and hydrating, you guys will like that conce concealer cleanser a lot. Okay, makeup remover, no change. The Pond's cleansing balm, hands down. If you guys need a cleansing balm, use this instead of using makeup wipes. It's amazing. Moisturizers, absolutely no change, you guys. In the day, I use the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. This is fragrance-free. It's extremely hydrating. This is literally like recommended if you have eczema or like patchy skin. So I love that. My night cream is still the same. The It Confidence in a Cream. This is my favorite moisturizer of all time. It smells so good. It smells like a spa. It's a thicker, thicker moisturizer. It feels good at night. It literally feels like you're hydrating your skin. However, this lady is new and we love her and we're out of her and I need to replace it. This is the Elemis Superfood. I think it's Sika Calm Hydration Juice. This was a BoxyCharm item. Again, it introduces you to new products, which I love. Um, this is like the most hydrating gel consistency. It smells amazing. It smells very citrusy and I love it. I use it in the day. I use it at night. It just blends amazingly and it makes me feel so hydrated after using it. 
It says it's a cooling hydrator, yet packed with fruit waters and antioxidant rich Sika helps to visibly calm skin. 10 out of 10 recommend, love that. Okay, so the lip balm I use every single night before I go to sleep is the Laneige Sleeping Mask. I forget what flavor this is in, but it like, it smells so good, it's very hydrating, it's thicker, um, and I just pop it on every single night. And I've had this tub for a long time, and I use it every day, so it's lasted. What else? Okay, body lotion. Alicia Marie convinced me to get this. She's a YouTuber. This is the Hemp's um, body lotion in the sweet pineapple and honey melon flavor. Bitch, it is so good, and you get so much of it. This is an Amazon purchase. I will link it below. It is so hydrating. It's amazing. Hemp's is really well known for their body lotions. This one is pungent. It smells. It smells a lot. I love the smell of pineapple, but you've been forewarned. It smells amazing. Um, on the flip side, I've been using this for years. This is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. It's, oh, wow. That just, that just made me feel something. It's heavenly. It is so good. I put this on my hands because this is a smaller tub. Um, it's the best tropical scent ever, which leads me to the spray. I got my backup, guys. This is how much I love this because I'm running out. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Body Spray. It's like the bum bum cream in a spray format, the most sexy, beautiful, just like tropical mist. I have my backup, love that. And then the other scents I've been into, no change here. I've been wearing the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy perfume since college. Um, I think I think my mom might have gotten me for this for Christmas last year. I use it sparingly because it's my favorite scent. It's super sexy, I absolutely love that one. And then the Vera Wang Princess, I've been using since co college as well, and I think it's really, really pretty. The newest edition, brand new perfume is the Glossier U perfume. I got this on Black Friday, so I've been using it for like three weeks now. I think this grew on me. So everybody raves about this fragrance, and it's supposed to adapt to your own scent, so it smells a little different on everyone. I would say it is really long lasting, and it's a little bit prettier. It's more like musky. So it's very different than anything else I have. So I do like that. Last two products are hair care. No change here. The triple sex spray from Dry Bar has been like my favorite texturizing spray for literally years. I don't, I'm not big on hair, you guys. I don't really do a lot to my hair. I use the same shit that I've always used. This again, scent wise, heaven. Heaven, if you got a man's in your life, if you got a woman in your life, you spray this in your hair, it's like moth to a flame. It smells so good. And then this product, I cannot live without. I just bought my second tube of it. This is the Amica Supernova Moisture and Shine Cream. This was a BoxyCharm gift as well. I just repurchased from Sephora. So I put like literally the tiniest squirt of this on my finger, work it into my hands, and then put it in my damp hair right after I come out of the shower. This makes it like, so easy to comb through your hair. It eliminates frizz. It smells amazing. Your hair looks so shiny and healthy. So I can't not use this. Like every time I get out of the shower, I have to put this in my hair. So, oh my God, I need a drink of water. That is literally everything guys, all in one video. I know this was a little bit longer, but I figured I would just put it all together. That is literally everything I have been using and loving for 2020. Some new, some of the same, but I recommend all of these products. Definitely leave me a comment again down below if you guys use any of these or if you have your own recommendations. Let me know if you try any of these products. Like I could not recommend them more. Again, everything will be linked down below in the description box. But if you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and I would absolutely love to have you as a part of my family. So please consider subscribing if you guys are new here. You can also follow along with me on social media at Emma Capotis on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, and at hey there, Emma on Snapchat. And I think that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this and sticking around with me. Again, drop a lipstick emoji down below if you made it to the very end here so I know who the real ones are. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have a very happy new year and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.